Hey everybody, Jeff here. Joining me again is me. Hey. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah. <laughs> My big sister Sarah joining me for more made of sc scare. It's scare, right? Made of scare. Yep. I think is what they say. Yeah, made of scare, which is a bit on the nose for a horror movie, but a horror game. <laughs> we were just talking about getting tongue tied between recordings. <laughs> uh, but whatever. We just found a map and we're we're gonna go look at the bathrooms. Because, you know, we were on that train for a long time, and there was not a bathroom in that train car. Oh, oh wait. Is that... Oh, it's just, like, the thing that holds up the shelf. I got excited for a second, because it was shiny. <laughs> False advertising. Maybe it's a key. Right. All right. Da -da -da. What is this a picture of? And it's like, uh, there's no picture in there. You're just looking at the wall behind it. Oh, that makes sense. Abstract art. I don't know much about art. But I know if a thing is a thing when I see it. And that exists. So it's something. That was very profound, Jeff. Right? I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm just... I'm like a... I'm like a shark. I'm just being profound. I can't stop being profound. It's just, it's just what I am. I'm a single-minded profounding machine. Do you hear a phone? Like, occasionally? No. Oh. I was about to say, like, do you hear, like, a grumbling noise? And then I realized, oh, that's my stomach. Go eat something. Oh, no, I, I had dinner. Like, that's the problem. I had too much mac and cheese. <laughs> oh. So this is the octopus room. Or possibly the monster dick room? <laughs> what does a Cthulhu look like? Isn't that something like Cthulhu. that? Cthulhu. So, yes, Cthulhu looks like if that was his head and those were his eyes and he had like a tentacle beard. And big bat wings. Where does that even from? You... How do I know that? Why do I know that? Probably you. Well, I played Call of Cthulhu. There you go. Uh, but also, H.P. Lovecraft is like a extremely famous author. Is there just like a, a movie or a book or whatever called Cthulhu, 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 whatever well, you said? The <laughs> Cthulhu. Um, I don't, I don't think there's just a straight up Cthulhu movie. Uh, Call of Cthulhu was uh, originally a book, or it might have been Into the Mountains of Madness. He wrote a lot of stuff, and then after he died, like other famous authors added on to his works. So it came to collectively be known as the Cthulhu Mythos. Um, recently, though, the uh, Nick Cage had a movie, Chapel. Oh, great. That's gonna be... Yay. Oh, I thought um, it was the Nick Cage movie. I was like, never heard of it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Uh, the Color Out of Space. Never heard of that either. That's a, that's a Cthulhu Mythos movie. Um, huh. There was a movie in the 90s called Dagon about a fishing village that has, like, monsters half fish people. That's one... Um, there've been, there's been stuff. I, you, you've, even if I hadn't streamed it, you probably would have heard of it. I think I heard of it from you because none of this sounds familiar, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probable. It's, it's right in my line of like nerditry. So, uh, it's all about like monsters that are like older than time and exist outside of our universe. And like, just looking at them can drive you insane. Or even knowing about them is enough to drive you insane. And it's all about, like, that kind of, like, psychological existence horror. I, I really like them, but they're, they tend to be confusing as fuck. Um, all right. That sounds about like a conversation that we have with Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> is that filthy mongrel inside again? The filthy mongrel has a name, Father. It's Eustace. I'll give it a reason to pine. Come here, you mutt. Don't you dare, father. I refuse to believe that somebody with a house this big uh, has a mutt. This is the kind of asshole who'd be like, only the purest of breeds. You know what? We're going to get rid of father and Abraham for touching this dog and making it cry like that. Right? I understand Abraham, Abraham wasn't there, but still, fuck them both. <laughs> He was gonna, yeah, he was gonna help. Yeah. Oh, well, this room was useful. Yeah, we just got traumatized by hearing a dog going. 
right? That <laughs> the uh Help me. Oh, I can there's like the, I can Is that see Abraham? Cattle. Um I don't I don't know yet. I just <laughs> didn't introduce himself. I was gonna say the when you did the dog cry, like the Discord. I'm I'm sure it got captured, uh, but like in my ear it cut out, so I was like for making the dog go Ooh. It never got to the high part. <laughs> Alright. Okay, well if it's Abraham he can stay in there. Who's there? Who are you? Who are you? No, that's uh, banana. No, orange. Fuck. I fucked it up. <laughs> banana. God damn it, I suck at knock knock jokes. Henry. Henry Hughes. You must get me out. Oh, okay. Hurry. We must get this door open. Okay. Why did they lock you in there? Why really do you trust Henry's. They're clearly rogues. They're trying to kidnap me. Please hurry. And that's funny because I don't trust Hughes's. <laughs> like your name looks like it should be Hugh. <laughs> That's true. I lived with a Hugh, and, and he was not very trustworthy. <laughs> uh, okay, I I guess I'll try and find a key. What? No, no, don't leave me. His friend don't robbed us twice. Oh, do oh, jeez. I can't break it down from my side. Okay, but I gotta find a key. Oh, you want? Okay. Well, here's where we find out if we're in shape or not. The question from previous episode will be answered. Good. Okay, I don't know how smashing my face into it helps. Okay, that was clearly a shoulder. Throw yourself into it. Wait. We do last time. Wait, what? Those are some oh, thick foot They're on his side of the door. I got I got worried because he said they were coming, but it sounds like they're on his side of the door. Are they beating him or are those his their footprints? Those well, they're going away now. So those were footprints. That's a I think they... big person. <laughs> they hit him once, or they hit him a couple times, and then dragged him away. I think, or he's just lying there. Um, where are we? Okay, I like that the the Cthulhu doors are marked with the little octopus on the map. Oh, oh, I was kind of hoping that door wouldn't open. Like every time I find an unlocked door in this game, like already, like we haven't had anything spooky, but like. It's like, please be locked so I don't have to investigate what's behind you. Uh, the spooky part was Henry. Actually, the spooky part's the fucking uh, music box. Oh, yay, I found it. Well, that thing in front of you making sound, that was it. Oh my god, how do I, how do I get this upright? Oh. There we go. I, I can't, stop looking up the dress. Damn it. I'm really... Okay, we're done. <laughs> trying really hard not to do that. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> so that's a collectible? One of, it's just a collectible? There's nothing to... Okay. I thought for sure like we were going to be able to open the bottom of that up or something. Does that say music like box? That's not a box. Right? It's just some creepy little girl. That's like a snow globe without the snow globe. So just, like, a piece of wood with a little house on it? A, a snow globe pre-snow globe. When were snow globes invented? That's a good question. Right? Uh, well, it's just, like, fucking white shit and water and glass and wood. So I feel like probably... I'm going to say... After the Renaissance. I'll Google but it. For the industrial... Before the Industrial Revolution. The Industrial Revolution's way too. That's a big-ass switch. Asking the important that's like questions a fucking, here. That's an Igor throw the switch kind of switch. Yeah, for real. Oh, can I climb this? Can I just go up? Nope, I can't. Okay. Well, we've got options. Is that a window? If that is, it's dirty and way too high. What year are we in And right again... Now? What? What? Wait, what? What? Oh, eighteen ninety something. Okay. Snow globes were invented in nineteen hundred. Really? Yeah. Wow, that doesn't seem right at all. That's what um. That's what Google says. Like a Fabergé egg is way like. Well, no, those were invented after nineteen hundred too, weren't they? 
Oh, no. I don't want to read this huge-ass article. Okay. Let's just go with 1900. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, no one's making you. Oh, button. Do I push it? Oh, hold on. The furnace turned on. So the first Fabergé egg was made in 1885. Okay. So, like, I was going to say, like, I feel like Fabergé eggs are way more complicated. Uh, and those are older than 1900, I was going to say, so. You're right. Um, but then I wasn't sure about it, because the only thing I know about Fabergé eggs are how many of them got lost during the fucking Bolshevik Revolution. Dude, I should have bought a Fabergé egg. Aren't they crazy expensive? Like a, a true... Oh, you're talking like a knockoff. Well, yeah, I'm not going to spend like a million dollars. Okay. Uh, do I push this button? Yes. Okay. What is creaking? We're not even moving. Alright, so an elevator came somewhere. Oh. Well, there, I think there's a... Demon blood? <laughs> undo it, undo it, undo it. I think it might be Henry's blood. That's okay. We don't know Henry. Henry's lost. We didn't invest any time okay. in him. Okay. Alright, so where are we right now? We're all the way down there. I think the only thing we have left to check is the chapel. I I seriously don't like this hallway now. <gasps> are we going to get married? I mean, Elizabeth's in the attic. Was this here before? This big ass door, was this on the floor? Who's knocking? Oh, I didn't. I only heard that right before you said it. And what's creaking? Because that's not matching oh, our footprints. Is... Well, I found a light switch. That's good news. That did. What did that do, if anything, though? Okay, you know what? We're just going back and checking the chapel, I think. Right? Like, oh, have I been crouching this whole time? Holy crap. <laughs> Whoops. I'm getting in that thigh workout. Oh, I wish I could do that in real life. Just crouch walk everywhere? Yeah. But, I mean, you heard me walk up the stairs, so... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not gonna happen here. Well, yeah, you're 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 crazy high above sea level. It's you know, it's bad for your health to exercise too hard. William's family Bible. Canst thou draw out Leviathan with an hook, or his tongue with a cord which thou lettest down? Oh God, that went way too fast. Whoa, yeah, it did. <laughs> Canst thou put an hook into his nose, or bore his jaw through with a thorn? Will he make many supplications unto thee? Will he speak soft words unto thee? Will he make fucking sick hot love to thee? Will he make a covenant with thee? That's probably what covenant is, sick hot love. Just fucking nasty. Why are you reading thou... that like, like a... I don't know, because anytime I get too many thous, I, I turn into fucking, like... Uh, if you if you see Bram Stoker's Dracula, uh, like young Keanu Reeves is in it, and like he looks exactly like he did in Bill and Ted, and it, it's so hard to like disconnect that voice with him playing that like this supposed to be English person. <laughs> hmm. uh, will thou play play with him as with a bird? Who plays with a bird? Hey, what's wrong uh, with birds? Or well, they're basically dinosaurs. <gasps> like, have you ever seen a bird eat something? They fucking peck and rip and tear it. They're violent as hell. Love it. Or wilt thou bind him for thy mistress? Ooh. <laughs> Shall she make a banquet of him? Oh, that's less. Shall she partake? That's less exciting. I was like, I never finished that sentence. Shall she partake of him amongst others? Among others. Canst thou fill his skin with hot iron? Therefore, I will wail and howl. I will go stripped and naked. 
I will make a wailing like the dragons and mourning as the sirens. Micah one eight. I I was in Sunday school for quite a few years. I don't know what my parents hoped to achieve with that, but <laughs> whatever in it was, I don't Sunday think it worked. Sunday school for half a year because I was kicked out. Mm. So, that <laughs> does that surprise 100%. you? One hundred percent. Yeah. No. What surprises me is that you were kicked out, and yet you still know all the words to uh, Silent Night. That's just a surprise to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Make note of... I'm not touching the skull yet. Like, I want to look around a little more. Yeah, I just got kicked down because I asked too many questions. That sounds about right as far as, you know... I, I mean, I went to... I My parents took me to a Catholic church. Oh. Yeah, I went to a Lutheran one. And it, okay, it still sounds right. Yeah, so like kind of the same, right? So, the question yeah. that, like, broke the nuns back was I asked if Jesus died and came back, how come no one else has been able to do that since? <laughs> <laughs> and this is, like, like what, what six-year-old me, well, right? So she was the... like, okay, has just anyone else up. been the son of God? <laughs> yeah. Go wait outside until your fucking parents get here to pick you up. I mean, my dad Yay! was happy because he hated church. Yeah, no, I mean... Oh, it's a oh, it's the fucking cylinder. Okay, Cerberus. We got the puppy cylinder. We got the three-headed puppy cylinder. Okay. I'm sure they're gonna love that I turned off their music. Oop, is that a is that? Oh, I thought that might be a key. All right, let's check out that skull. Okay, but that like creaking isn't matching our footprints, you know. And what is that fog? Yeah, all I hear is the clock. I think it's dust. And what is I that knocking? I think this place is dusty as shit. That's the that ticking, you mean? Nope. There was the ticking I, I heard and there was a knocking. Too. I think we might be hearing stuff from floors above us. Okay. Oh, a keyhole. That's creepy. Which I don't have. That's a pretty kick-ass secret door, though. For real. All right, I think we're done with this room. I told Faisal but... we're not going to buy a house here unless we can have, like, a secret door that, like, is a bookshelf that can go into the basement. Fair enough. Even if we um... have to spend, like, thousands of dollars to make it, <laughs> we're doing that. Yeah. Well, no, that's a solid investment, I feel like. So, we have the... Um... What's opening? What's no, opening? I think that's footsteps still. What's that? Okay, I don't, I don't know where to go. Yeah, I'm just hearing things, and I don't know where to go now. Because we have the cylinder, but all the other doors were still locked. The only other thing we've kind of seen is down here. And I didn't check out this door before we pushed the button. Can you go so up that maybe... ladder? Um, what that? Right here. It just goes to a yeah. pipe. Nope. Oh, it goes to nothing. Nope, there's a box in the way. There's an unmovable box. <laughs> okay. Damn it. How am I going to save my, my, my girl if I can't move a box? Oh, this is open. Huh? This was not open before. There's this blood. Still, I'm going to assume this is still locked. Okay. Well, the blood was there before, too. There's just more of it now. Um. Oh, I was hoping we would go up, but we're going down. Oh, let's Great. go down. <laughs> You guys know how I feel about elevators? Elevators are fine, Use Jeff. phonograph to see. Nothing good happens in elevators in video games. Nothing. Gonna... Every scary tober, every year, something bad happens in an elevator. Yeah, we'll be fine. All the way back to the very first one when I did Silent Hill 2. Well, nothing good happens in Silent Hill. I mean, that little girl seemed to get by just fine. Wasn't she dead? Uh, well, I guess it depends on which little girl. In the first one, there's the little girl who's like the reincarnation of the girl who got raped. And then there's like the evil psychic version of the little girl. And then in the second one, there's just a random little girl who uh, met your the main character's wife before she died. And is just kind of running around doing whatever the fuck she wants. Yeah, I'm going to base more on the movie. <laughs> I was I was thinking you were probably going with the movie. I was like I, I don't think 
I know for a fact that we wouldn't have been able to play Silent Hill when we lived together. We would have gotten too scared. We would have gotten too made of scared. <laughs> green, these, I'm, these, I think they bought up all the green lights. All right, save. Hmm. I bet that's the sound we have to make the opposite of. Who the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Ooh. I enjoy Already voice. creeped out by the uncle. You're merely as fine a set of lungs as your mother. How dare you? Get out! Get out of here! That's now. not creepy. You're just my father's you know about my mom's lungs. Cool, am I? What the fuck do you know about it? <laughs> no. That would be you, Gus. You sweet see. And mark me when I say that the only instrument here. You. I said, get out. Go. Okay. Go on, leave me be. I, uh... Of course. That's her hoity-toity fucking ladyship commands. I don't, uh... Oh, that man. <sighs> he comes off as a little predatory, right? Yep. Okay. All right, well, that's a fun family recording. We got a tub, and we got some chain chomps. That would be the last time I ever talked to that uncle. Right? No more family reunions for you. To be fair, she did lock herself in the attic and, uh... Is not currently talking to him, so... <laughs> oh, see? Her. She took a stand. <laughs> is that fucking Henry again? I don't know, it's just giggling. Oh, they're crying. Oh, it's not giggling. I take it back. Dude, Jesus! Hi there! That's a big dude. Oh, he's naked. Okay, Henry's dead. That's a big dude. We were right with those footprints. Yeah. I'm... Okay, I'm hurt. Hold on, give me a hey, second. How did that hurt you? Everything. The glass? I got hit by glass, I think, oh. yeah. That's bullshit. Or I just have a weak constitution, <laughs> and the mental pain caused me, the mental anguish caused me physical <laughs> damage. Oh, uh, you get. Uh, like, I can't tell if it's better. going. Is it? Because it seems like it's going away and then coming back. Oh, yeah, that's true. Like it's throbbing. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Oh, no. What is. No, it's still there. What is that? It's like a tie. Or, no, it's a harp. Okay, um, is there something in here that will heal me? It's the 1800s, so it'll be like, Dr. I was just gonna say, like, Dr. Alexander's Miracle Tonic. Snake oil. Bloodwind's Nervous Tonic. All right. Okay, so I made you nervous. Drink it. Fear, dread, and neuralgia. Can you drink it? Yep, there we go. Or, looks like it might need a... Is that a I mean, needle? It's kind of a needle, right? I think you're supposed to, like, put that through the the top of the bottle to, like, introduce air or something? I don't fucking know. How do I heal? Oh, there we go. Nice. That sounded like it tasted great. <laughs> Ugh. You don't do that when something tastes good? Ugh. Yeah. No, not... No, no, not that particular noise. I'm still, like, occasionally getting, like, the controller just vibrates. And I don't know if it's, like, when I look at something and it can interact or if I'm stepping on something. I need a manual. This is why I wish games still had manuals. That makes me nervous. Like, ooh, what's up? Does that have a flashlight a f bulb for a head? No. Ooh, someone opened a door. I hope that's somebody opening a door. scale. I will not be stepping on that scale. Thank you very much. That's the real horror here. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh, here we go. 
was like, I know there's something somewhere. Isaac's ledger, deaths, and disappearances. Who the fuck is uh, Isaac? I, well, he was the, the other note we found uh, for getting like, the, the dress rehearsal. That was Isaac's as well. I think he might, he might be like the, the concierge or something. Got it. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, date, description, amount. 11th June, Mr. and Mrs. Wainscomb. Elderly couple, no children. Exeter, Devon, clothes. Two of six, trinkets. Three of four. Two of three, so they're dude. Two of whatever, <laughs> yes. 13th June, Reverend Alistair Gray, Charlatan, Sheltonham. Unlikely to be missed. Fire again. Nothing salvageable. August 3rd, Mr. Victor Williamson, merchant traveling alone, Bristol clothes. Two trinkets, two. Ernest Sharp. Oh, that's touchy. Test subject. Painter traveling alone, Rye, East Sussex clothes. 3D trinkets, 2D. So, are these people who died or people who got killed? Mr. and Mrs. Matthews, test subjects, retired, clerk, Winsford, Cheshire. Jeff, can you Arthur tell Morris. me the difference between dying and getting killed? If you get killed, don't you die? Well, like, I mean, they just died on the grounds of not intentional causes versus, like, the fucking, they got thrown through a glass window. So I said these are deaths and disappearances, so either they died or they disappeared. Another musician asking too many questions, very evasive. Why? Matilda Norton traveling alone. Okay. All right. Well, more than more people that should have died here have died here. Basically, yeah. okay. We don't have a map, do we? I was gonna say like I'm I'm going I'm finding too many unlocked doors, and uh, I don't know how to get back to where we were. Fun. God, I wish I had, like, can I just pick up this candle? Here we go. This should be the map. I recognize that box. Alright. I got the map, I got the map, I got the map, I got the map. So I think this leads to the other side of that weird door, the harp door. Okay, and we're not going through. Alright, I get, I got it, I get, I get the picture game. Fawn. What'd you say? It said, follow the sound of the phone. Okay, I thought I heard a phone, too. Ooh, blood. Yeah, is this where uh, Henry went? Oh, this is where Henry went. Okay. Wait, was I just in here? I was. Okay. Um. And that goddamn phone. Don't they have answering machines? Hang up already. Seriously. Get the picture. It's probably Elizabeth. Elizabeth. How does she know where we My are? Love. Does every phone in the house she might be hotel. reading like every phone yeah yep elizabeth i'm here there was someone else in the attic outside the door but uh, i think they've gone now there's another man here or i managed to find one of the cylinders um there's another man here yeah i don't want to let her know we got a cylinder just yet right i don't but you must look to yourself first, Thomas. If you should be caught too... Oh, that's a big dude. No, I don't want to be caught. Sound. You must remain quiet. Great. Um... Uh, let's see. They attacked him. They can't see. Yeah, they can't see. I didn't. I don't. I didn't really get that picture. I didn't. I, I. That was not. Well, you were on the other side of the window, and they didn't do anything to you. I know, but I also screamed really loud. So <laughs> I just kind of assumed he was busy with you know what his current fish he was frying. Uh, Bitch, you are the one that's here. What happened to their faces? You are I, literally honestly, the one that's here. I didn't get a good look at his face. Did you? 
Mm -mm. Dear God, that's horrific. I dread to think of you being snatched like that too. Our one hope of helping him, helping all of them, is finding the cylinders. Okay. I guess we have to let her know. Well done, my love. There's hope yet for us all. The others should be Who's... here in the hotel or in the grounds. What others? Oh, the other Please cylinders. Take the utmost care. And if I don't answer, it means I've had to hide. That they've come back. Wait, can we just call her? Finding I mean, logically. That's a very instantaneous, like, it rings forever for us, but it, she's got that phone right away. All right, well, you, you were going to ask something. Sarah? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't think I was <laughs> going to ask you anything. I, I, what are you talking about, you idiot? Uh, okay, well, we've been going for about a half hour, so we're going to call this one here. Uh, <laughs> things we've, we've 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 achieved spook. I would say we've achieved some. I Sarah still seems pretty, you know, like unfazed. I I definitely had a a good moment of. <laughs> <laughs> um. I. I'm in. Mm, don't do that, light. I'm intrigued, but like I'm still too confused about what's going on to be super intrigued. Yeah. Like we don't have enough background information yet. Her uncle and her dad are assholes. There's fucking professional wrestlers walking around in three-piece suits, smashing people through windows, and she must have a phone directory. <laughs> um, how does she know where we are? She Yeah, she's got to just be dialing every phone. Yeah. Maybe every phone rings when she dials. That would be not advantageous to her, I feel like. Um, but whatever. Maybe we'll figure it out next time around. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are. Uh, Sarah, do you want to do the sign-off again? Thanks for watching, you but gonna... you better watch the next video to know what happens. Okay, bye! I was going to say, are you going to threaten everyone again? Yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, just, yeah, do it.